It's LaDawn Black of WBLS, and I am hanging out on the Spectrum couch with the beautiful, talented, and she can cook, y'all, <laughs> Carla Hall. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It's so good to be here. I'm loving this. is so See, look, comfy. Get comfortable. <laughs> oh, <So> good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carla, tell us, what are you looking forward to today at Circle of Sisters? Some natural hairstyles. Yes. Because <laughs> we're curly girls. You know, I know. As a curly girl, people ask me all the time, what do you do with your hair? And I'm like, oh, I use Miss Jessie's. I use Fido. And then I saw those Miss Jessie's bags, and I was like, oh, Miss Jessie! <laughs> you know, I love me some Miss Jessie's. I, I give consultant like tips on the street when people are like, how do you do your hair? Mm -hmm. Because people don't know how to do their hair. They don't. They don't know about the clarifying shampoo. Mm -mm. They're just putting a bunch of stuff in. Some people don't comb their hair. No. I'm like. And some people don't put water in it. That's the, that's the new one that I'm hearing. Oh, yeah. We don't want to wet it up because it may go wrong. Oh, yeah. Dry <laughs> shampoo ain't for us. <laughs> no, it's not. I just want y'all to know it ain't for us. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> so tell me, what's coming Okay, so right now we've started the seventh season of The Chew, which is amazing, and it's been really fun, but the thing that I'm really excited about is my third cookbook, which is about um, soul food, but mm -hmm. everyday and celebration foods, ah. and I think a lot of times outside of our community, we think that the celebration foods, like the macaroni and cheese, the smothered pork chops, the fried chicken, you know, all of that stuff is like soul food but right. that's the food that people celebrate it with that's mm -hmm. what we have like at christmas and thanksgiving but food and like in they say at the catholic church ordinary times okay. it's actually very healthy and it's agrarian lots of vegetables and everything because people had gardens so i took this trip throughout the south just to sort of reconnect because I'm originally from Nashville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and just to reconnect with that food like of black farmers, um, people's grandmothers and great grandmothers and talk to them about what they ate as kids mm -hmm. so that I can sort of be inspired by that and do food like every, the food that if my grandmother was here today or my great grandmother was here today, what would she be eating? Inspiring. Yeah. Now, what is your bit of advice to someone who, I'm not going to say any names, mm -hmm. who can't you, cook? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Give thing me is, a quick meal that I could win with. But I know you can cook. I mean, obviously you can cook. Well, something. I have a family, so they eat. Right, they eat. So they we eat. get through it. Right. So I think the thing that you have to think about, because you're, you're probably busy, mm -hmm. so you have to think, one, planning. Okay. is huge. Mm -hmm. And even going to the grocery store, this day and age, you don't even have to go to the grocery store. You can order things and your food that is comes. True. Right? That so that's, true. that's huge. So the other thing is you think about what flavors you like. Because let's say you like American food or you like Italian food or you like Greek food. There are certain spices that mm -hmm. go with that food and there are certain things that should be in your pantry. Gotcha. So let's say if you want... Um, I don't know, you have pasta in your pantry or tomatoes mm -hmm. and you have basil and um, oregano and certain dried spices. That That's the game right there. For me, I love smothered chicken, but that doesn't mean it has to be the smothered chicken that I grew up having in Nashville, True. Tennessee, which is like pan-seared chicken mm -hmm. and a milk gravy. But in if I know how to do pan-sear some chicken, which I'm sure you know yes, how to do, do, right? You can do dark meat. Dark meat, please. I know, honestly, the boneless, skinless breast does not work in this application. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly. But well, people always say, cook, cook your chicken breast. And I'm like, oh, no, no, it doesn't have any okay. flavor. Thank the thing you. is, it doesn't have flavor. And if you cook, if you cook meat with the bone, like mm -hmm. the thighs with mm -hmm. the bone, you, what do you make broth with? Bones. True. So if you have the bones in the chicken, then it's going to be more flavorful. Sear that. And then once you take that, you get it nice and brown, take it out of the pan. The pan is your oyster because that can be anything. You can put onions in there and garlic. You can then put on top of that some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You can put olives in that. Or you can leave the tomatoes and the olives out. You can put lemon in that and then do a milk gravy with oh the, the broth, right? Mm -hmm. You can even add spinach in there. You can add some kale or, or finely shredded um, collard greens. So if you think, okay, I have this chicken and then this pan, I can do whatever I want. It can be French. It can be Hungarian. It can be Italian. It can be African. So that's how you should build your dishes. That's how you should be thinking. And clearly don't throw anything away. Oh my God, don't throw anything away. 
No. <laughs> everything no. has a use and a everything, purpose. Uh, yes. Everything has a use and a purpose. And I think a lot of times we're so used to this beautiful food that even people say, oh, I have parsley in my dish. So you take the leaves and you throw away the stems. The stems uh, have most of the yeah. flavor. Okay. Cilantro, the stems have most of the flavor. So if you're going to use thyme or rosemary, throw the whole stem in there. As oh. you cook, it, the, the leaves will come off and then you take the stem out and discard it. And it all adds to the flavor. It all adds to the flavor. It's, there's flavor in the brown. That's why you brown your meat. Mm -hmm. And then what fresh herbs can do to a dish to wake it up, boom. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So let's talk about the spectrum of black women. Yes. Circle of Sisters, we're going to see a lot of women come through, lots of different interests, a lot of different hobbies. Mm -hmm. What, to you, defines the spectrum of black women? What do you find in black women? interesting exciting and engaging well the fact that i am a black woman right and for 53 <laughs> years i've been a black woman so that now, helps. but you know what's what's really interesting about us and even starting from the hair our creativity and what we wear i mean the way that we dance the way that we walk our confidence our humor i mean can we talk about girl trip yeah i mean what this summer it was amazing um i I tend to walk up to black women when I see them walking down the street and I'm like, I see you. You are looking mm -hmm. so good. And just the way that we change our hair all the time, there is no other culture, none, mm -hmm. who changes their hair the way that we do, who expresses themselves. Um, on the two, well, one, I fought for my hair to go gray because mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want to color my hair because it affects my curls. And I'm quite sure they had an opinion about that. Oh, no, they were like, um, oh, we'll see about that. I'm like... You just need to shoot me an email. Can you just shoot me an email about that, please? <laughs> I didn't get an email, so my hair's still gray. <laughs> but people say to me, I'm so confused about your hair changing all the time. These are, these are people outside of our, oh, okay. our community. And I'm like, it's a black thing. Right. I literally say it's a, black, it's a black woman thing. We change our hair because this is part of our creativity. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you are wearing, you know, a protective style or a wig or dreads. or I mean, we can go long, short. And the beauty in it, we started that and then other communities communities took that on exactly you know to put to, to do clip-ons and to do all this they're like wait a minute why are these black women right. how can they change their hair and do all of this stuff? i mean vivica was just talking about her wig line you know right. sherry shepherd has a wig line right. because it's all about diversity mm -hmm. we are truly living diversity and that's the spectrum of us as people we are living diversity i love it carla hall thank you so much for hanging out with us here at circle of sisters and we can't wait to see more of you today thank you girl i'm going to be cooking i'm going to be making some johnny cakes and some chicken oh. with um, um spinach a sausage chicken sausage gravy what <laughs> so we're going to all get fat today that's what you're saying Moderation, moderation. There you go. <laughs> Carla Hall. <laughs>